Hello everyone. Welcome to hoodoo.com and I'm Badekila Pradeep and this time I'm talking about Project Ara, the most customizable phone in the market. Oh no, not yet in the market, but it's definitely taking the world by storm in the last few months. Finally, a phone that can listen to your needs literally and without having to change the phone now and then just for the same reason. At first look, a phone which costs less than $100 or around 6000 rupees is a great idea, but that's not all about this phone or the project. They call it the phone of the future. Well, We'll understand the reason behind this when we figure out what's in there in Project Ara as Google calls it. There is going to be a quick look at five interesting things about Project Ara towards the end of the video. But right now, let's get into the details. Google intends to sell a starter kit which would cost about 5000 rupees like I said earlier and then let everyone make the small tiles which can add anything that the developer wants onto the existing gray phone it can be a camera additional battery life ram or some more cool stuff this modular design helps bringing the developers and customers even more closer well that clearly shows that google is trying to do to hardware what it did with software through android with android google told phone manufacturers that it will make a software but you do whatever with it and give it to the customer you can call it yours but now project ara has gone to the next level by giving us something that can change the way we use our phones hopefully at least that's what the talk all about in the tech circle these days project ara has been a google's pet for almost 3 years and 2016 is supposed to be the debut year if not everywhere but at least in one or more select countries as a pilot project there's very little that a customer knows about this since the company has given only the developers access as of now for project ara more than 3000 developers signed up that means the customer will be spoiled for choice when the full fledged launch happens the project ara is giving the developers an mdk or the module developers kit using which the developers can create anything around it in fact google intends to connect to 6 billion people through project ara this is what it says on its home page well that sums it all up all we know about the project is that the basic structure or the frame will be given by ara and we can buy the modules either from google or from the third party sellers and invent something they don't have to produce the whole phone anymore most probably through an authorized marketplace like google play store modules can have features from as common as cameras and speakers to something that hasn't made its way to the smartphone like medical devices receipt printers laser pointers pico projectors night vision sensors or game controller buttons though some of these features can be still added onto the phones now it has always been an added protruding device that need not be compatible with more than one device most of the times okay that's pretty much about project ara for you but now we'll have a quick look at the top 5 interesting things about project ara Project Ara is run by a three member core team at Google. Most of the work is done by outside contractors. Project Ara is named after Ara Nayan, who is the co-founder of NK Labs, which is the main contractor of the project. In 2011, Google acquired several patents from a lesser known Israeli mobile manufacturer Modu for 4.9 million dollars. In 2013, Project Ara was announced under the then Google subsidiary Motorola, but after Motorola was sold to Lenovo, Google's Android division handles the project. The device is so customizable that even the front slot can be replaced with other front modules which are different from the rear modules. Hope you liked the video and it was informative. We had mentioned about Project Ara in our earlier video which also talks about the most expected smartphones of 2016. Link for the video is given in the description or you can click on the subscribe button on the screen which will not only let you see that video but also a lot more from the gadget world through who do do. Don't forget to like and comment. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. 
we'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this has been badekila pradeep from who do do